After the success of India's first and only television show, the Tech and Auto Show on CNN News 18, news18.com is all set for another first in the industry. This November, the biggest names of the tech and the automotive industry in India will be together under one roof to celebrate their success stories of 2017 and pave the way for the future. Celebrate with us the Tech and Auto Show Awards 2017 on November 29th in New Delhi. Hello and welcome to the Tech and Auto Show, which is India's first show that satisfies your hunger for both technology as well as automobiles. I'm your host Siddharth Sharma and we've got a power packed show lined up for you guys this week. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, that's our lineup on the show and first up what we have for you is a car that started it all. Yes, the compact SUV revolution in India was started in a way by Ford EcoSport and in 2017 the company's come out with a brand new model. What's so special on this one? Up next we tell you all about it. The Ford EcoSport was undoubtedly the best compact SUV upon its launch in India and is also credited for starting the sub 4 meter compact SUV segment in the country. Now Ford has given it a midlife facelift, but it includes changes which are enough to call it an all new car. The new Ford EcoSport comes with an all-new 1.5-litre three-cylinder petrol engine that delivers an impressive 123 PS of power and a mammoth 150 Nm of torque. This new engine, called Dragon, comes with a choice of two transmission options, a 5-speed manual gearbox and a 6-speed automatic transmission, which can also be operated through the paddle shifters mounted on the steering wheel. The claimed mileage as per Ford for this petrol engine, along with the manual gearbox, is 17 km per litre. There is also a diesel engine offering in the form of a 4-cylinder 1.5-litre unit that is capable of delivering 100 PS of power and 205 Nm of torque. The diesel engine comes with the manual transmission and is claimed to deliver a mileage of 23 km to the litre. The major additional changes to the exterior design include the addition of a newly designed projector headlamp which also get daytime running lights. The grille has been updated too to look more bold and in your face and the hood has been sculpted as well for a more aggressive look. The fog lights have been updated as well and now have indicators incorporated inside them. The other big change is the new 17 inch alloy wheel design which are lighter and stronger than before. The new Ford EcoSport is also loaded to the brim with technology. It gets an all-new 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system that now supports Ford's Sync 3 system, as well as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The car also received a rear backing camera, power folding outside rear view mirrors, push start stop engine, smart entry into the car with a capacitive sensor and ambient lighting inside the car. Being a Ford, they have paid complete attention to safety as well, since the new Ford EcoSport has been fitted with a total of six airbags meant to keep the driver as well as the occupants of the car safe. There's also hill start assist and electronic stability control to help you out in case things go wrong. So these were the features you should know about the new Ford EcoSport. Our first impressions of the new EcoSport are pretty decent. This new petrol motor though feels a little underpowered and low on torque. Our best bet would still be the diesel motor on the new EcoSport. But having said that, do wait for our full review of the car that started it all. So watch out for that.
All right, we really did not enjoy our drive of the petrol variant of the new EcoSport, but the diesel is still as promising as it was. Time for some tech action on the show. It's the battle of the Maxes. Recently, Xiaomi came out with the Mi Max 2 and Samsung came out with the On Max. How are these phones compared to each other? Up next, Devashi Sarkar tells you. If you want a big screen Android smartphone in India, then the Xiaomi Mi Max is probably the first option that comes to your mind. Now the company has launched the Mi Max 2 with the same display size of 6.4 inch. But using a 6.4 inch smartphone in India is not that easy. And this is where options from Samsung comes into the picture. I am talking of the Samsung Galaxy On Max, which offers a 5.7 inch display for the same price. But it offers great cameras. So if you are looking forward to buying a big screen smartphone for under Rs 17,000, should you buy the Xiaomi Mi Max 2 or the Samsung Galaxy On Max? Let's find out. The Xiaomi Mi Max 2 is of course bigger than the Samsung Galaxy On Max, but it is thinner. The Mi Max 2 houses a mammoth 5300mAh battery and weighs 211 grams, while on the other hand, the Samsung Galaxy On Max weighs 178 grams. But you get a smaller 3300mAh battery with the On Max. Talking about the display quality, both the smartphones offer 1080p Full HD display. The Mi Max 2 has a large 6.44 inch screen while the display of the On Max measures 5.7 inches. The overall quality is identical but the Mi Max 2 offers better colors and is more vivid in low brightness. Coming to the hardware specifications, the Samsung Galaxy On Max is powered by a 1.69 GHz octa-core MediaTek P25 processor with 4 GB of RAM and 32 GB of internal storage which can be expanded up to 256 GB. While the device is not the fastest in the lot, but it should easily cater to the performance needs of most average users. The Xiaomi Mi Max 2 runs the tried and tested Snapdragon 625 octa-core processor with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage, which can be expanded up to 128GB. You will not face performance hiccups and the Mi Max 2 easily manages to be a workhorse. One of the main USP of the Samsung Galaxy On Max is its camera, which claims superior low-light photos. The handset flaunts a 13 megapixel rear camera with an aperture of f1.7 with LED flash and a 13 megapixel f1.9 selfie camera with LED flash as well. The device truly stands to its promises and will easily manage to please you with some great shots. The Xiaomi Mi Max 2 may not be a good deal if you have a heavy focus on using it as a primary camera phone. The Mi Max 2 offers a 12 megapixel rear camera along with a 5 megapixel selfie camera. The image quality of both is average at best. Both the devices are dual SIM and supports 4G VOLTE. Talking about the battery life, the Xiaomi Mi Max 2 lasts longer than the Galaxy On Max. Both the smartphones run Android 7.0 Nougat and there is little hope that it will get the latest Android 8.0 Oreo update. The Xiaomi Mi Max 2 is a huge 6.4 inch device and it will take some time to getting used to. On the other hand, the Samsung Galaxy On Max is a more practical choice for its 5.7 inch display. The performance of both the smartphones are identical, but the Mi Max 2 offers a great battery life. On the other hand, the Samsung Galaxy On Max has great cameras. So if you're looking forward to something much more convenient and comfortable to use, the Galaxy On Max definitely wins for Rs 16,900. And with that, it's time for us to take a very small break on the show, but you guys don't go anywhere because there's plenty more action coming your way on the other side. After the success of India's first and only television show, the Tech and Auto Show on CNN News 18, news18.com is all set for another first in the industry. This November, the biggest names of the tech and the automotive industry in India will be together under one roof to celebrate their success stories of 2017 and pave the way for the future. Celebrate with us the Tech and Auto Show Awards 2017 on November 29th in New Delhi. Welcome back, you're watching the Tech and Auto Show with me, Siddharth Sharma. 
Now, Xiaomi this week came out with an all-new selfie-centric smartphone called the Xiaomi Y1, and they've also got a new brand ambassador. We caught up with Manu Jain from Xiaomi and their new brand ambassador, and here's what they had to say about the all-new Xiaomi Y1. Hi, I've got with me Manu Jain and Katrina Kev, and they are here to talk to me about what have you got? The new Redmi Y1 series. Wow. So, why the Y1? Why the Y1? That rhyme, it's just so smart. <laughs> yeah. Good. Xiaomi is, I'm sure you know, India's fastest growing smartphone. Mm -hmm. So for me, and because I, I don't, I'm sure you also know that, that I came on social media a little late in the day. Yes. So I came, took me time, mm -hmm. as you know, Good things come to those who wait, so it took me time. But once I did get on, I really enjoyed it. And you know, Xiaomi, the team came to meet me. I met Manu, I met everyone. And I just thought there, um, basically the phone is an amazing phone. I love taking selfies and I love taking pictures. What, mm -hmm. the, what the kind of pictures the phone takes made sense for me to kind of you know, tie up with them. I think uh, what they're offering to their consumer is really, really incredible. It's really incredible. The kind of quality, the kind of specs on the phone that they're offering at something which is Affordable. within the reach yeah, yeah within yeah. the reach of a lot of people i think it's incredible what they're doing what's so new and different about this one um, this is a pretty interesting phone uh, this is the first phone uh, which is really focused on selfie as a feature mm -hmm. uh, uh, the new series that we are launching in india is called as redmi y series and the first one is redmi y1 uh, the reason why we thought of uh, redmi y uh, as a name of the series was because this is a phone focused on today's youth generation okay. young people and these are the people who always focus on lifestyle. So this is a lifestyle focused phone, uh, which is a great selfie focused camera and a selfie light. And this is a brand new series that we're launching in India. There is a beauty light. Now watch, we're gonna, we're gonna try this on you. Can we take off your glasses for a second? Yeah, sure. See, when I hold this here, can you see how your face kind of lights up a bit? Oh yeah, it so does, it's got huh? a flash. See, it's got a beauty torch. This is called the beauty torch. You can't see there if I show it into camera. But when you hold it like this, you'll show it on my face. So a lot of uh, low light party shots we're going to see of Exactly. Ah. Low, light, low light party shots. Let me put my works. glasses back. How, how come the price point is so less again from Xiaomi? Uh, so like all a uh, uh, Redmi series, uh, this phone also stands for power and performance. It has a very, very affordable price. Uh, so it has a Snapdragon 435 octa-core processor. It has 3 GB of RAM, 32 GB of storage, amazing one-day battery. So really high quality, high-end specs. And yet we are able to launch it at an amazing price of uh, less than nine thousand eight triple nine. Why and how we are able to do this uh, is the same Xiaomi philosophy. Uh, we don't spend a lot of money uh, on things like a long, huge distribution cost, inventory cost, huge marketing cost, and we save all that money and pass it on to users. Because of which we are able to make these products very affordable. Um, and that's why Redmi series are so popular. Like if you look at India today, yeah. uh, number one selling phone in India is a Redmi phone, Redmi Note 4. Yes. Number two is a Redmi phone, Redmi 4. Number three is a Redmi phone, uh, Redmi 4A. All top three selling phones in India are Redmi phones. And now it's soon going to be the Y as well. I are really you, hope so. Uh, do you do you actually click a lot of selfies? We've seen some from you, but do you are you are you the kind of person? I do. Who... In fact, they. Uh, I, I think it was one of the main papers. They actually mentioned it mm -hmm. that why are most of your pictures mids or close ups? Uh -huh. So my answer was what you, you guys can't see what what he's holding my answer was that i don't have a selfie stick yes so the phone is only going to be as long as, as long my as hand is absolutely. right absolutely i mean there are some tricks you can do like sometimes you'll you'll balance it and then mm -hmm. poke it with something like that but yeah oh. at the most at the, because i take most of my pictures myself so is it is it safe to say that you are so is it safe to say that you're still new to the selfie game i don't think i'm new to it no okay i think i think i'm Pretty, pretty good pretty, at it. Pretty, pretty good at it. Okay, so that's... Humility, humility. Humility, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Is this phone also going to be available on uh, your offline retail channel? Because, uh, you know, new Xiaomi stores have been popping up in different cities. Yes. And uh, are we going to see this phone there as well? Uh, of course, yes. Uh, uh, this phone has been launched in partnership with Amazon. So this is an off Amazon exclusive product, mm -hmm. which means um, this will be available on both Amazon and our own e-commerce platform, me.com. The mm -hmm. first sale is on 8th of November on both these platforms and it will be available across all offline partners mm -hmm. including me homes me preferred partners and all other retail chains like sangeeta Purvika, big c reliance big bazaar and many other partners that we have and one final question and don't give me the same answer okay i won't is uh, why will you pick up xiaomi for all the reasons that we just discussed <laughs> but because i love you and i love them so much i'm gonna say it all over again so 
I really think Xiaomi, what it offers to its consumers, what it offers to um, to everyone who's out there looking for which smartphone they want to buy, mm -hmm. it's it's really the best in its in its in its category, and you can see that in the way the company is growing. It's the fastest growing smartphone company in India. I think it's one of the fastest growing companies in the world, also, if I'm not mistaken. But you can check that with Manu, and uh, it's a really really nice phone. Okay, so final question to you, why um, Katrina care? <laughs> uh, so now uh, this phone when we started thinking about this a uh, few months ago uh, we said this is a phone focus of today's young uh, people and these are the people who are um, uh, very very focused on things like lifestyle mm -hmm. uh, uh, they basically uh, always they are uh, very active on social media mm -hmm. they are basically taking pictures posting yes. every time yes and these are the people um, we wanted to do something different with this phone. We wanted to have a face of, for this phone, for this particular product, uh, which also has similar kind of qualities. Somebody who's beautiful, somebody who's elegant, um, and somebody who portrays similar kind of characteristics that this phone has. And that's when uh, we met Katrina a few months ago, and we said, like, maybe it's a great choice. Uh, we should work together on launching this phone. Uh -huh. And that was the reason why she came in. Yes. I hope she's going to click a lot of selfies from the wire. Uh, I really hope so. I, I think she will definitely do it. Let's see how old you are. One second. Yeah. It, 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 oh. You're 25. I'm, 25. I'm not 25 actually. But <laughs> good, like, yeah. good. Okay, one second. I think me and you should take a picture. Absolutely. But are you are you making a nice expression? Let's see. Ah, there you go. See? There you go. Can can we can we show that there? Yeah. That's a nice picture. Hold on, hold on. Which I'm pretty sure. See? Look. That's an amazing picture. Why you are making a comedy expression, I'm not sure, but I mean... I was actually talking. I was pouting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, maybe we're going to see that uh, on Katrina's Instagram post. <coughs> I kind of knew sure. that. Sure. Yeah, sure. So, sure. great, great catching up. Hope you enjoyed this self-interview because you're a pro at it. Thank you very much. It was great talking to you. Cheers. Now don't worry, we will be getting you the full review of the all-new Xiaomi Vi1 very soon on the Tech and Auto Show. But now it's time to move on to the automotive scenario. Recently, Arjit checked out the all-new Maruti Suzuki Arena showrooms because they are different. How? Check that out. Well, how do you take forward a brand which is already the biggest player in India? Maruti Suzuki India has just done that by revamping its existing range of dealerships and giving it a completely new look. And that's about all the time that we have on this edition of the Tech and Auto Show. If you have any comments, queries or suggestions, feel free to tweet us on our Twitter handles. All you tech lovers out there, you can tweet us at News18Tech. And all you petrol heads, don't forget to tweet us at News underscore Cars18. We'll see you same time, same place next week, only on CNN News18.